When I got into university, it was exceedingly difficult to get there. And anyone aspiring to such giddy heights of education had to walk over nails to get there. But it was free. Nowadays, everyone goes to university, even the people who aren't particularly interested. The only nails you have to worry about are the ones that get glued on in salons. And it's costing the taxpayer billions. So next time you get your tax bill, remember a chunk of it will be going to some kid getting a BA in beach management at Swansea University. You heard me, beach management. How's that for throwing sand in your eyes? I'm Granny Opteryx. So, this is in the Daily Telegraph. The taxpayer cost of funding student loans is expected to jump by more than 10 billion per year as interest rates soar, the Institute of Fiscal Studies has said. Surging government borrowing costs mean taxpayers are expected to record a loss on loans that are fully repaid by graduates as well as those which are not according to IFS's findings. Now, as I said, it used to be the case that university education was free. There were fewer universities and it was a real privilege to get there. Apart from that, there were technical colleges which gave degrees or diplomas or certificates for people who wanted qualifications in more applied subjects like engineering, electronics. There were also English degrees at the technical colleges, but they were aimed for professions such as journalism, advertising, teaching, and that sort of thing. And all these degrees, diplomas, and certificates were at no cost because they were supposed to be advantageous to the state. And that was until Tony Blair decided that everyone gets to go to university which is a scam, because not everyone is good for university. And so to fill in the numbers, a lot of joke degrees had to be invented. So here comes scam number one, the degrees offered. Media studies, women's studies, well, grievance studies, whatever. I got this here from a recruitment website, uh, Fast Recruiting. And goes as follows. Some prominent examples of what might be considered more worthless areas of studies include a Harry Potter studies module and a surf and beach management degree, which were both pulled from Durham University and the Swansea Institute of Higher Education, respectively, after criticism that they devalued... Um, <laughs> academia. Uh, but back to the degrees for all. Such a huge expansion needed money. That meant students would have to pay. And this is where the uh, scam number two comes in. This is for a pay. This here is from a page published by the Institute for Fiscal Studies. The government pays around £22 billion to fund the education of each cohort of English domiciled full-time undergraduate students studying in the UK. And they're supposed to pay their fees back after they start earning. But if their income is below a certain level, they don't have to pay their fees. And this uh, loan hangs over them until 40 years have passed, at which point they don't. the, the loan is written off. Uh, for graduates, this system means that those with low earnings later in life contribute very little towards the cost of their degrees and will not clear their loans by the end of the repayment period. I'm interrupting to remind you to click like and to subscribe and share. Also, I'm constantly being told that YouTube removes subscriptions. So please click the notification bell and check that you really are subscribed. 
All the links to my other channels are in the description, including links to donation sites. I'm always grateful, of course, for donations. But simply clicking like is the best thing you can do for this video and my channel generally. Thank you. Well, let's get back to the Daily Telegraph. Previously, the government's borrowing costs on student loans were always lower than the interest rates it charged, enabling it to make a profit on the debt. However, higher interest rates have pushed up the cost of funding student loans from 1.2% to 4%, significantly higher than the interest rate that is expected to be charged on student loans. Basically, that means that when New Labour set up this Ponzi scheme, they were relying on interest rates remaining stable for the rest of all eternity. Which is the true mark of people who look very smart and may have been the first people in the universe to order an oat milk latte, but the money they used to pay for that coffee-flavoured gruel, well, they don't understand money all that well. They just take the salary. And now that the interest rates have gone up everywhere else, as I said, the higher interest rates have pushed up the cost of funding student loans, the government is supporting a loss of around, what did they say it was? Well, I can't find the reference, but I do seem to remember it's something around seven and a half billion pounds. And that's apart from the graduates who remain below the repayment threshold and who never pay anything back. As The Telegraph puts it, only about 27% of full-time undergraduates are expected to repay their loans in full. And here I shall end with a government speak paragraph, which, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a masterclass in government speak. A government spokesman said, we've kept maximum tuition fees frozen to deliver better value for students and taxpayers, while also taking the difficult decisions necessary to more than halve inflation this year, including by resisting calls for higher spending and borrowing. I honestly can't make much sense of that. I mean, there are individual words that make sense. The whole thing doesn't make any sense at all. Well, there you are. That's what's going on. So universities are proliferating to fill the space they've been given. They are coming up with joke degrees. Everybody gets a joke degree and the degrees are worth next to nothing. A lot of the and all these universities are doing is becoming, you know, the devil makes work for idle hands, hotbeds of anti-British agitation. Now, most of these universities should be closed down. Uh, many of them should be just reverted to technical colleges, which is what they were before. And uh, the, this whole system is completely broken. OK. Oh, oh yeah, they're completely broken. And we are paying for it. We, the taxpayer that is. Just so you know. That's uh, Tony Blair's idea. Yeah, another thing to thank him for. Right, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Granbo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.